From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday's top stories. Local health officials feeling a little bit more optimistic now that another vaccine has been approved for use in the U.S. The one-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine received the approval yesterday. That is expected to ramp up the vaccination effort in the U.S., and that could mean good news for the Bahamas economy down the road. Health officials were expressing cautious optimism even before the latest approval, and that has increased a bit now. We've already seen countries that are rolling out the vaccine. They've made some changes in what freedoms could be allowed if one gets a vaccination. So in Europe, for example, you could maybe have face-to-face gatherings again. You could enjoy, say, going to gyms and, and other activities. It should look more hopeful because vaccinations should allow protections and people need to get vaccinated. Dr. Nakia Forbes is part of the government's COVID-19 response team. Officials have released the weekend confirmed cases numbers, 12 on Thursday, split between the capital and Grand Bahama, 23 on Friday, spread over six islands, nine in the capital. Nine cases on Saturday, six of them in the capital. Of the 32 total cases reported during that period, 10 of them were in Abaco, which is now under extended curfew hours to allow health officials to determine if there's a major spread problem there. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials reporting one more death related to the coronavirus. An 80-year-old New Providence woman died back on February 23rd. Her death brings the total to 180 now. Opposition leader Davis weighing in on the corona situation, urging the government to take action now to prevent a possible third wave. He's advocating more testing and more isolation of confirmed cases. Meantime, former Prime Minister Ingram continues to recover from his infection. He's been in hospital, but doctors say he could be released by the middle of the week. More issues for the Free National Movement. North Luther MP Ricky Mackey's Petroleum Company, now involved in a court matter related to a 2018 fire on that island, and there could be some licensing issues for that company. It happened more than a week ago, but police in Exuma are now taking a closer look at a reported traffic accident in the settlement of the Hermitage. It claimed the life of 47-year-old Gilbert Honoray. Relatives say they are devastated by this, and they're looking for some answers. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, mostly sunny, highs from the low to mid-80s. 81 at Freeport, 82 at the Capitol, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around 5 this afternoon. Clear skies expected tonight, lows from the low to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people paper biggest and best monday's world news headlines u.s health officials excited by the approval of the johnson and johnson covid 19 vaccine the approval from the cdc came yesterday and millions of doses are expected to be shipped beginning today officials say the one dose vaccine will speed up the process in that country a deadly day in myanmar yesterday 18 persons believed to have been killed by security forces as the military government expands its crackdown on protesters Nigerian government officials now trying to find out where those kidnapped girls are. More than 300 taken by gunmen late last week. Tribune's gas tracker prices to start the week. Shell 452, SO442, Rubus $4.39 per gallon here in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Plenty of sports news from a busy weekend, including the latest on Bahamian track and field athletes competing in the U.S. Some positive news there. Different scenarios for Buddy Heal and DeAndre Aiden and the NBA. Their team's going in different directions. The Suns are hot. Aiden had 22-10 and 10 in a win. Heal had 30 points, but his Sacramento team lost to Charlotte at home. Read the details in the Tribune Sports and get the rest of the NBA news also. Nice start for Jazz Chisholm in spring training Major League Baseball. He homers and a Marlins win. Read the details in the Tribune Sports. And there's a U.S. College basketball update also in the Tribune Sports Monday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.